How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Dave Sean and today we're going to be going over an anti-curse plugin. This was a video that I had planned for a while back in the series. I know we're starting to get towards a little bit more advanced stuff here, uh, coming towards the end of our season one here. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be going over an anti-curse plugin. Um, pretty simple. I um, mean, you know, obviously you guys can make this much more complex um, if you would like to, like such as using configs and whatnot. Um, but I am simply just going to just set it equal to um, a certain word. You guys already know how to use configs. Uh, and whatnot so we're not really gonna go through the trouble of doing all that so once again all the code will be available to you guys on github so make sure to go check it out and you know what actually we will go ahead and um, we will use a config um, just just because it makes it this will actually make it a little bit easier so we'll say um, band words um, and we'll just use simple words. We're not going to actually use bad words. Poop. But. Cats. Alright, so let's uh, actually go here. Let's delete that there because we're not going to need that. Alright, so first things we have to do is we have to run the event which actually looks at the player's chat. And now you have two options. Options options here uh, event handler so we have public void chat event player chat event event so we can use that but this one is deprecated right so we don't want to use that basically means like you, it just basically means you don't want to use it. Um, there's what we have now which is called the async player chat event uh, which is actually much better better to use. I cannot talk today. Let's import event handler. So the first things we're going to have to do is, well, we have to get the message that they're sending. So we want to get every single string that they're sending, right? So we want to say for string s, it is going to be event dot get message dot split as soon as it shows up there dot split and we want to split it at the spaces right because we want to look at individual words and now there is a way that you can do this to make it much more complex to where you can actually see if somebody says you know we have dog in there somebody goes you know dog or doggg um, there is a way that you can uh, do that I'm not gonna go over it in this video but you guys can certainly go ahead and Google that there's plenty of tutorials on bucket uh, themselves so the next thing we have to do is we have to see if the config even contains that word. Because if not, we you know we don't really want to do anything. Um, but if it does, we we want to do something, right? So we'll go ahead and oops, get bad words or banned words. So let's we'll say if uh, bucket dot get config spell. Oops, sorry that get server dot can we not? Oh, we can't do that one. Right, 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 right. We have to actually call our main class here. Can't use bucket for that. My bad. So we'll just say tutorial plugin equals tutorial dot get plugin tutorial dot class. Now we can go ahead and say if plugin dot Get config dot get string list. Uh, I don't. Why is that in there? It's my channel. Ba uh, band words. And, okay. So if it so we're getting the config, and then we have to see if it contains that string right there that we're getting from the message, right? So we can get rid of bucket there. We can re-import that. 
So if it does, we want to go ahead and say we want to set this event canceled true. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to send the player a message. And like we did with the kick ban, uh, you can go ahead and set up a, in, uh, a separate config or inside this config, uh, basically a record of players and then how many times they've uh, infracted or they how many infractions they have. Um, so you can go ahead and see how many they have. If they have three, you can go ahead and say kick. If they have five, you can go ahead and say ban. Um, but we're just going to simply just do event dot get player dot send message. And we are going to just tell them that they are naughty, basically. Show chat color dot red. Do not curse on this server. All right. So let's go ahead and see if this works, right? So let's re export this. Actually, let's check my main here, make sure our config is still. Do we have a load config? Yep, we do have it. Okay. Just had to make sure we still had our config set up there. And let's uh, export that. And we have that deleted. Let's reload. This should go ahead and fill it with the new one. Okay, so it did. Um, but the list is a little messed up. So let's see if it says it. Um, dog. Okay, so this did not work. Are we getting any errors? We are not getting any errors, but the, the plugin launched. But our config is all sorts of messed up. Okay, let's see if we can fix this config here. See if that'll help. I don't actually know if that's the problem. Let's reload. Let's delete that. Let's do that again. Okay, so that sh should do it, I think. Yes, there we go. All right, so you gotta make sure you add a space after uh, after the hyphen. So you can see there, uh, it says do not curse on this server. Let's just go ahead and heal. And I don't know why I have auto jump on. I, I have to get rid of it, it's super annoying. Um, Steve, 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 my friend, how are you? All right, so that's really as simple as this can be. And again, obviously, we use really stupid things here. So we can say, hi, dog. And you can see there it still works. But now you can see if we go ahead and do, you know, slash D-O-D-G-G, yeah, it does not work because that word um, is not in there. Um, but like I said, there are ways you can go ahead and set that up so it will get it no matter how, how long the word is. So, you know, if we said, bah. Um, it'd be able to recognize uh, if it even just contains that particular string of words. So that's all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. We are growing really, really fast, guys. And I hope to bring some new content to the channel. Um, <clears throat> thinking about doing some mod reviews and um, some mod showcases, and some plugin showcases, just to kind of add a little bit more content to the channel. Um, but I also don't want to overwhelm myself because, believe it or not, it is extremely hard for me to do uh, two videos a week. Uh, I'm on spring break right now and I'm trying to record as many videos as I can But to be honest, I'm kind of running out of ideas because um, I don't want to get into things that are Extremely extremely complicated yet um, Just for the matter of myself because I also want to make sure that I have time to You know check myself make sure I know what I'm doing so I don't have to spend you know hours and hours and hours in uh, post process editing out mistakes uh, and whatnot so I think I might go ahead and you know do some plugin reviews uh, plugin showcases maybe showcase uh, some subscriber plugins so if you guys have made any cool plugins or any plugins that I think are cool or worth showing off maybe I'll show them off uh, but definitely mod reviews because I think mods are really awesome um, and um, a lot of times people don't know how to install certain mods so I want to go ahead and uh, be able to do that for people as well uh, so that's all I got for you guys and once again thanks for watching